<laughs> it's the NSK here industry loop another episode another Friday that we have lined up for you happy Friday by the way remember industry loop comes out every single Friday for you in the actual paper all right that's uh, the new era newspaper that's the reason why you should buy it because NSK is in it I'm kidding but really <laughs> and then we have the visuals that will come to you later in the day as well uh, as we are doing it right now now Today, we're talking about something that is exceptionally important to me, okay? Top two, most important discipline when it comes to the stuff that I do. You ask, what's the other thing that I do? Has to be um, acting, okay? So it's radio and acting. It's these two that, uh, that, that really do it for me. And, I, and, I'll, and I'll prove it to you real quick, real quick. Just I, I, will you allow me to talk about 2018, okay, Namibia's a favorite uh, uh, actor. And then 2022, do say Levat, nah, best radio presenter in the country. It's not me, it's the people. Yeah, the awards, am I? Just to show you that what we're gonna say here has a point of a point of a reference. Now, today we're talking about radio in the sense of branding, okay? Um, how radio presenters need to brand themselves. And how is it possible that in 2022, I need to say, radio presenters, you need to be branded. You need to brand yourself. You need to be in the conversations, in the boardrooms, there by the agencies and everyone else that makes the big decisions. But I'm not going to take, but don't take my word for it. Let me put it that way. Don't take my word for it. I've got someone here with me that will, and that has lived the branding experience of a radio presenter. All right. This man knew about branding way before I could even pick up a mic. Okay, this man is a man that has been on radio for what decade plus, not even decade, a decade and many change. All right, he's a singer songwriter as well, he's a content creator, he's an entrepreneur, he's the smooth, smooth, smooth cat. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please help me welcome CJ. Hey, my man, I'm your <laughs> man, my man. You know, um, I understand about giving flowers when someone is alive, so yeah. thank you, man. Ah, no, 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 please take your fresh flowers. <laughs> Talk about smell them. How do they smell? <laughs> but thank you. And and I gotta say, man, yeah. you know, um what, what you're doing, the very first time I was like, NSK, okay, yeah. now Beb second. I was like, what is this about? Hey, like, this? Never. Ah man, nah, but, and, and and you know, this like what you just shared. Yeah. Uh congratulations, and I know there can just be more coming from you, man. Thank you so much, yeah. CJ. I really, really appreciate it, especially mm. from a man uh, coming from you. Um CJ. They ask him probably right now. Yeah, but you who can CJ today. The NSK money for Why why are you bring CJ? CJ from where? From what? Make yeah. us understand who CJ. Let me yeah. tell you. Let me tell. Make you. us um, understand. Let them understand who <laughs> CJ is. Basically, the colors, good man. A very humble guy, man. A yeah. very humble guy. Vanehida Karatura. Uh, from uh, the 064. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What to say? <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 yes. Um, well, on, on, on the radio perspective, since you're talking about mm. that, the other will probably create other platforms. Yes. But um, was hungry and had a desire for wanting to be on radio. Um, where it all started was at KCR mm. before it became Base, Base FM. Now, yeah. um, from there, um, uh, UNAM Radio mm. Campus. And then uh, they after uh, Fresh FM, mm. where you add ah, yes. uh, the, the, <laughs> nice. the, the, the frequency. Yeah, yeah. 102.9. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, what time is it right now? These were the kind of times that I was on air, you know. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. they after National FM, you know, mm. NBC. That's me. Now, let's really go back to Fresh FM. Mm. Uh, um, there's something legendary that you did at Fresh FM. Yeah. Okay. Dare I say you were probably one of, if not the first radio presenter, that took a concept on radio mm -hmm. and you visualized it. Yeah. The same way we're doing right now with Industry yeah. Loop. Yeah. It's taking a column and visualizing it. Yeah. You took a concept mm -hmm. on radio yeah. and you visualized it. Make us understand what this concept just for their benefit. I'm glad that you said that I'm an entrepreneur. Mm. And, and that's what I've been ever since I was, a, I was a young man. 
uh, from selling the popcorns to the sweets to just whatever. Oh, you were that late at school and, and it, was, it was there. Oh. <laughs> no, not for real. So, um, uh, on, 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 particularly Fresh FM, got there and then um, always a visionary. Seriously, you know, some people just misunderstand some people and I'm one of those who are misunderstood. So, I did a show with uh, Donata Kadila. Tony. Oh, Donata! And then um, she, she, she stepped out. Uh. Um, at UNAM Radio, there was a show done by uh, a gentleman called Glenn. Glenn. And uh, uh, David, David uh. Pastor, may soul rest in peace. Uh. They did a very late night show called uh, Gentleman's Club. Mm. You know, where they went there, serenade. You know, especially the ladies. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Easy, yeah. smooth your life. When a lady answers, the guys are like, yeah, how are you doing? When a guy, when a guy calls, they're like, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know? yeah, so what this song will be what? <laughs> you know? So, so, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so, so Tony left. And then uh, being, having that entrepreneurial ba- background, you know, I used to tell people, I DJ. And then I would get a gig, hire, get a DJ, and he plays, you know? Mm-hmm. So, so what do you do now? Nah. I own this. <laughs> I oh, own this. I see so, so, what so, you so, mean. so that's how it was, you know? Mm. There's a need come through and serve the need, you know? So that's how it started. Then I met Mufaro, but prior to that, I knew Mufaro from um, uh, radio, UNAM radio. From UNAM radio. Yeah. yeah. And then um, when, when Tony stepped out, I needed a co-host at Fresh, and mm. Mufaro also did a different show. Mm. So we just spoke, because I would always be like, yo, bro, I need one more uh, speaker. Then he'd hook me up. He's uh-huh. like, yo, I need a mic, you know, for, for exactly, gigs. Yeah. So we were like, um, why don't you jump on the show, man? And then he hopped on, and the show had a name. I really can't remember the name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then Mufaro was like, remember, man, there was this show. And then I was like, which show? So we spoke with, like, Gentleman's Club. Then we were like, okay, cool. Let's do this. Let's speak to the dude. Mm. To the Glenn. first guys who had the Gentleman's yes, Club yes, name. Yes, at, at UNAM, because uh-huh. it wasn't existing. Uh-huh. So called up uh, Glenn, and he was like, you know, we spoke. We, we, we boys. And mm. then we said, like, dude, uh, what you think? And he said, go ahead, man. There's nothing I'm doing with this. And... Uh, mm. My brother is also no more. Ah, man, shout out to Glenn. Yeah, and to David, man. And to David, the the late, yeah. So we took this. We inspired by Puff Daddy. Can see the shades and all of that. You know, smooth with it, smooth with it. And and, and, and Mufaro was a DJ Tira guy. So we were like, you know what? Let's let's host a party, you know, because mm. Puffy always started did the white parties and whatnot. Yeah. And then that time, um, the American Dream had this song, "She Rocking That Thing," like, oh, you know, oh, yeah, she yeah, rocking yeah, that see, thing, like, yeah. yeah. So we thought, like, what are we gonna do? And like you say, visualizing things. So we thought, like, okay, let's do a party. <laughs> Put the ladies there, the men will come. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, of course, of course. So we called it Rock the Ladies. Rock the Ladies. Cool. Brought called, to you by Gentleman's Club. Yeah, by the by the gent. So we changed the name to the Gentleman's to Club. To the Gentleman's yeah, Club. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So so um when that happened, uh, we, 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 we hooked up with uh, one of the uh, guys who were part of management at uh, Fresh. Uh, he owned Club London. Uh-huh. So we came to him, two black boys coming to this Lani. <laughs> like, yo, JP, let's talk. <laughs> so he's like, ah, oh, okay, cool. Um, all right, cool. Mm. You guys can take the gate take and um, I'll sell. So yeah. Like, ah, oh, cool. Everything at the gate is yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he underestimated you guys at the time. My man. Yeah. The night. <laughs> the first night. JP stood at the gate and was looking and said, oh, we should breathe, negotiate. We should breathe. <laughs> because it was not packed. It was not happening. My man. My man. And, and, you know, Facebook just started. Yeah. You know, the social media was not really happening. It yeah, just started. Yeah. And, you know, it's so funny. Like, when we were there, like, ask people, like, so where did you hear this? Like, on oh, FP. And I was like, what the hell is FP? I was like, Facebook, bro. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. FB, FB. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 as the night winded off, um, I told Mufaro, man, and uh, my man, I didn't. Before that, I didn't have twenty thousand dollars in my hand. I was like, yo, okay, so this is your cut. Like, Jeez, ah, man. you know how much I got at that money. <laughs> so I told Mufaro, uh, listen, you know what, my man, let's register this. Uh-huh. Let's make this a company. Yeah. We were like, let's be quiet about it. And we went, we registered it. Um, okay, he had a business background also. His parents were really oh, okay. nice. into this. So we, we got all the information, we registered it, and we decided, let's do events. Hmm. Let's do more events. Let's get into branding, yeah. uh, T-shirts, jerseys. Because we were always looking at, like, what do people need? 
Yeah, yeah. These were just ordinary radio guys. Exactly, yeah. Radio yeah. presenters. Yeah. We thought like, ah, you know that thing of like the month end, you wait for the pay to come in. Yeah, yeah, like, that story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like, oh, is it month end? Is it month end? Oh! Because oh. <laughs> <laughs> the money's let, Let's go drop these t-shirts where yeah. and then we got into water. We made it. We called it gentleman's water. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we just grew and then uh, we did more parties. I mean, we would just do... Like, I like what you said, visualizing. Mm. I mean, we lost many radio presenters, the yeah. BKs, the who who's back in the day. Yeah. So we decided, let's get in the club mm. and let's um, do a party uh, in honor of these people we uh, lost. Uh, you know, we did the uh, phone parties. We did, ah, man, we did a lot. Bro. Yeah. We did a lot. And branding, that, it helped. It, it, it helped, We yeah. bought two cars back in the day, two DJs, man, or radio presenters, just from uh, unheard what of. they were doing. Unheard of. Gentleman's Club, G Club. I mean, just recently I met a lady at uh, Grove Mall. She was like, ah, Gentleman's Club. Oh. No. And she goes like, is no, not just a brand. And we go both, both go like, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> so, oh, my so, so, goodness. So, so, yes, my man. Uh, you're not talking to the wrong guy on <laughs> No way. <laughs> because you see, because you know, like, because that time, that time we were still upcoming radio presenters, yeah, especially yeah. myself. Yeah. And I looked at you guys as the coolest people on earth, yeah, man. Yeah. I was like the gentleman's club, too. You know what I mean? But I was too broke to be at your party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. I was okay. too broke to be at your party. You own a t shirt, though. I, had, I have one. I have one. Actually, you know what? I'll take a picture and, I, and I'll send it to you guys. Or I'll put it on my Twitter. Yeah, yeah. So, but like, yeah. You see, so look at that. Those were what? 2000 and what? 2000 what was that? 2000 and earlies, man. Yeah, very yeah, earlies. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? It was early 2000, yeah. 2010, 11, Nine. Because I know. Nine, yeah. Um, we, 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 on the t shirt, it was established 2009, if I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nine. See, yeah. so how is it possible, mm. CJ, especially with what you guys did, you and Mufaro, opening yeah. that door for branding? Yeah. Yeah. You say, listen, Radio Presenters, it's possible. It is. Okay. Yeah. How is it possible that in 2023, you can literally count? A handful of real presenters yeah. that are consciously branding themselves. Yeah, man, I don't even want to talk about the possibility. I just want to say it's a joke. Mm. Like, like how could all the information be there? Mm. I mean, we've laid blueprints. Like, seriously, that's why I'm proud of what you are a radio presenter. But look yeah. at what we're doing here. I'm sitting on your platform, my brother. Yeah. It's not something that just woke up and you were placed here. You had a vision for it. Yes. So I don't understand. There's a lot of information. You know, back in the day, people said. Um, education is important, um, uh, and, or rather, knowledge is knowledge, important, yeah. whatever. Then others said applied knowledge is important. Come on, man. There's information. Mm. So, so I don't understand. It's, it's, a, it's a joke. Mm. I mean, um, probably excuses. Yeah. Because, because you, know, you, know, you know one thing, man. I have, I have a, a brand like myself, CJ. I'm not going to even lie to you. I'm in boardrooms. Mm. You know, I am constantly in brand proposals. Yeah. I'm constantly in conversations with, with, uh, with advertising agencies yeah. and, and just general clientele, some who wants to work without yeah. the complications of an agency. And I can tell you right now, the majority of these people, when they look at, okay, who are we going to partner first? Mm -hmm. Go to social media and they see, ah, numbers. Okay, mm -hmm. let's rather go for uh, XYZ brand with 60,000 um, followers. Not really understanding that we are the people that speak to hundreds and thousands of people every day. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So who do you blame? Do we blame the, the advertisers to say they don't reach out to radio presenters or do we just make us, do we not make, do we not market ourselves? Do we not make ourselves sellable to be part of these campaigns, mm. to be part of the standard banks, the power mm. plays, mm -hmm. the, the, you know what I mean? The, um, the Namib meal campaigns yes. and so much more, you know? I mean, you, 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 you gotta be seen. Mm. You gotta be seen. I mean, it's good. It's fair enough going, <clears throat> sorry, going on air and uh, doing your thing, doing your show and whatnot, but you have to be seen. I mean, you can't just be heard. Mm. But then Especially again, in Namibia. Mm -mm. Yeah. I mean, or maybe is it their intention not to want to be out there? It's, it's a sad situation if that's the intention because there's a lot of opportunity. Mm. And we do not mean out, out there, I mean like in um, these boardrooms, mm. being the brand ambassador of what? being an MC way, you know, or even just coaching people, but, but just being out there. So uh, it, it's, I don't understand why it's not happening. I tell you what, uh, uh, CJ, you are also a singer songwriter. Yeah. Um, uh, you, apart from uh, what we're talking about today, there's so many things. There's, of, of course, there's so many things that he does apart from just radio. Yeah. Let's check out a little something. We'll be back in a bit. Don't go anywhere. This is the industry loop of the NSK. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
multifaceted. multifaceted. That is what we are. What we call multifaceted. Yeah. <laughs> so the Taliban. <laughs> What's the we understand. Exactly. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Multi-talented, different areas. Here's a whole music video of a radio presenter singing and giving you fantastic music with a song that's called uh, Thank You. This man literally lives and breathes what I want to be. Tite, um, <laughs> Abri CJ, yes, getting back sir. to the conversation. Yeah. Let's go straight for it. How many presenters right now, mm. and you listen to radio, radio is something that you, you don't just lose it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. It's, it's a, there's a certain addiction that comes with it. How many presenters do you know right now that are on air, on, on air right now? That you know, okay, apart from the two of us, apart from myself now, it would be unfair to include me in the conversation. Mm. That is actively trying to brand themselves. Mm -hmm. You see your face, you have to squint. That's the problem that we have. He literally has to squint. He has to think like, yo, yeah. I'm a what? Um, <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah. Um, and that's the point that I'm making, CJ. Yeah, yeah. It should just come like this. It should come like that. Yeah. At least three of us. Mm -hmm. So now I get back to the question with the advertisers. Yeah. Are they unfair in saying, ah, radio presenters in the land, but if even a radio presenter can tell me, I'll rather go for the influencers who post naked pictures on Instagram and they'll get us the, the traction that we need. Yeah. Man, um, sure, that, that, that's, it's not an easy one to answer just like that. But I think um, they, they're partly, partly not wrong mm. because of the exposure. Like I said, you know, you've got to be seen at least doing something or also just speaking, you know, speaking and being heard. Um, the, 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 the ad agencies and those uh, who want to promote things, I think they are also doing injustice mm. to themselves, their own brands, mm. because there's a certain code of conduct, you know, when it comes to radio presenters. Yes. That, that they, I've not really heard of, of, of people like really messing it up, those on radio. As you know, when you compare it to influencers. When you compare it to influencers. Yeah, the risk there is a bit high mm. compared to the, the guys, you know, there's control with the presenters. Mm. So, so I think, I don't think, man. Give give the radio presenters a, a chance. I mean, where do you go to when you want to when when they want to promote things, mm. play ads and whatnot? Mm. It's radio. It's the radio. Why don't you just use those people? Don't you mm. think that um, if if NSK is to be the brand ambassador of of, of this string right yeah. here, just for him to say like, "Yo, I had this in the morning." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> because you know many times, because you know many times, CJ, people ask me, mm. I, how do you have that energy in the morning?" You understand? There are kids learning, there are young people learning, mm. elderly people, uh, sorry, not learning, listening. Listen, listening, yeah, sorry, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah, listening. I mean, the influence that this uninfluential person, according to, I mean, like you said, is not our yeah. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> this, 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 this radio personality doesn't have the numbers, mm. but what they can give you. I mean, people can maybe measure it on, on, on the numbers they, they, you know, they move. Mm. Try it on someone. But here, yeah, also for the radio uh, presenters, I think they should uh, rise up, know what they want. I mean, it's not everyone who wants to be out there. We all have different dreams and goals. But um, if that's your thing, then go out there and push, you know, highlight NSK and say like, yo, man, how do you do this? Mm. Highlight me. Let's talk, you know, whoever, you know, just the people you see making moves. But yeah, man, I think that the ad, ad, ad agencies, they should give, yeah. you know, their ear. And listen to the radio presenters. Let me let me let me let me let me let me ask you this, CJ. Just a, a, a different scenario here. Yeah. You saying, okay, maybe that's not your scene. Maybe you don't want to be seen. Yeah. But is that not part of the tussle of ra of radio? Have we lost the essence of radio? Radio is about people, CJ. Yeah. Yeah. How do you not? How, how, how do you not love people and you're in radio? Then you shouldn't be on radio. Please vacate the seat and give it to someone else. What, what, what happened to that honesty? Yeah. You are not a people's person. Yeah. You are required to speak to people. Because you know what? It's not even just about branding and getting MC gigs. You still need to do outside broadcasts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you know what I mean? So whether you like it or not, with the mic, you, you will still you be forced. have to be out there. To, yeah. Do you understand? Mm. So... How, are we, how, do we, how do we have a situation right now? If you're saying that, okay, maybe they, that's not their scene, how do we have a situation then, yeah. then that the majority, mm -hmm. quote unquote, yeah. is 
people who don't love people. Yeah. How do, how do we get? Is it the like, programmers' yeah. fault? Is it the people who are here mm-hmm. that they represent mm-hmm. this? Oh, you you have a nice voice, and that's it. That's the minimum minimum requirement. I think the problem also, or the thing maybe sometimes is people are fans of radio and they get into the game. Mm. You understand? Mm. Like I listen to NSK. I'm like, yo, ah, it's cool. Like, well, I also want to get there. I want to speak. On, on the mic and I want people like saying like, hey, whoever, you understand what I'm saying? And then those people land there and then they probably the ones not wanting to make these moves. But mm. it's unfortunate. I agree with you. If you are on radio, you are not your own person. You are people's You are person. the people's person. Yeah. Now what? <laughs> why don't you use that to just make a buck? Or two. <laughs> you yeah. guys bought two cars, guys. Aye. And that's not all, man. Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. So, so, and it's, and it's just, but I think, hey, um, and that's why I say it's, it's sad. You know, a two-year-old child or maybe a one-year-old child, they don't have information. Mm. They have the basics. But I mean, grown people. Mm. There's, what, what do some of these radio personalities do? They take pictures. Yes. Record themselves eating what? Yeah. Now, can't you take a picture with, with, a, with whatever something? Whatever brand, yeah. You understand? Or, or eat whatever you can promote. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I so, so I think we should move towards there. And I, yeah. I'm glad that you also challenged me a bit on what I said, yeah, because it's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Yeah. Is it the money issue? Is it because we don't get the same type of money as, uh, as, as South Africans? Because, I mean, uh, let, let, let's, let's be honest. We, 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 this, this, we don't get that type of money. We really don't get that type of money. Mm. You know, we, there was it, what was it uh, the other day we read that um, um, Hamza Kwa, uh, uh, Unati, yeah. Unati was paid over 50K or something like that at, uh, at Kaya FM. Mm. We all know what uh, DJ, DJ uh, Fresh used to make. Yeah. Highest radio, yeah. black radio presenter in the mm. country. Mm-hmm. Look at the type of money that um, this guy on the afternoon drive, uh, um, this annoying one that I don't even like. Um, <laughs> what's his name? Uh, on Metro FM. Uh, on Metro FM. Um, ah, it ran away from me. Spoo. Uh, no, not Spoo. No Spoo. Ah, Spoo, 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 <laughs> Spoo owns his own radio station yeah. now, Metro, uh, Metro mm. Radio. Um, 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 it's going to come back to me. Help, yeah. me. help me with the name, please, in the comments. <laughs> help me with the name in the comments. Yeah. I can see him. He's very loud. I don't like that guy, but that's just egotisticness yeah. of us. Yeah. Um, is it the money issue, Buddha? No, it cannot be the money issue. You know what? If you are a salaried person, mm. I mean, you cannot get into radio and think that you'll make it on a salary. Mm. Come mm. on, man. Mm. You have opportunity. Mm. It's not the money issue mm. because you will be paid to move to and from mm. your station or wherever, mm. to, 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 to have a roof over your head. Yeah. But then the rest is up to you. It's up to you. It's up it? to you. Yeah. Now, we're talking about Unati making 50. Mm. Can't you make 60? Mm. And you can make it. You can make it here. Mm. I mean, you diversify and you can certainly make it. That's why I always yeah. come back to the point of information. I mean, we go on YouTube. You're on YouTube. What do you do? Let's check out things. I like what Puffy said. Mm. Puffy he said one thing, and it made me think. He said, um, he's tired of people following people. Why don't you do things that people can follow you? Now you're on a platform, you're on a radio station. How many people How listen to you? How are you a follower? Yeah, you, know, you, you should have people follow, following follow, you. Follow, 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 follow. No, let them follow you. Uh-huh. You know, and then you can get into those boardrooms. Come on, there's information. NSK is talking about being in boardrooms. Mm. Can't you just inbox the brother and say, hey man, I got this idea. How do I do this? How do I get into that room? Okay. So it's not the money thing. Let me put you on the spot yeah. as we close off our conversation today. Put you on the spot. All right. A couple of quick questions. Mm-hmm. The best radio presenter you've ever worked with? Mufaro, man. Mufaro. <laughs> That's my <laughs> And not just because of Gentleman's yeah, Because club. of Gentleman's Club, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of wisdom in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. The worst blunder you did on radio? Man, I, I got to National FM, and uh, I'll answer this quick. Mm. I got to National FM. Um, I don't know, uh, something happened. Mwala Muchila was the manager, and then they were in a, in a meeting somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So I was talking, trying to tell him something, like, Yo, are we supposed to play this? And, blah, blah, blah. and fortunately, he was, the radio was also on, so he was like, CJ, the mic is on. Oh! But, but, but I didn't hear that, so I was like, uh, <laughs> excuse me, sir. He's like, the mic. And the good thing he did is he hung up. Oh. But I didn't know. No, and, and yeah. Then, <laughs> No, 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 no. And you up, check, it's red. I look up red. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but why? Look, yeah. this happened. 
I drop the feeder slowly. slowly. Why? Yeah, because <laughs> already, it's already out. Yeah, that's the worst thing. That okay, happened. okay. Um, two more questions. Two more yeah. questions. Uh, um, the toughest manager you've worked with? Um, Norman Costa. <laughs> Ah, what a legend. He's what a the legend. toughest, and I'll tell you today, he was the best. Mm. He was the mm. toughest, rudest, the baddest, but he was the best. They say if you, if you survive lessons. Norman Kotze, if you, if you survive Norman Kotze, um, then you've made it in life. No, he was the best. Man, Norman, mm. I love you. Wherever you are, <laughs> yeah. I love the fact that you were the way you were because he instilled the business and the hunger and everything. Yeah. If it wasn't, if he was babying people and all of us, uh, Mufara and I were not going to achieve that. Who should not be on radio today? In terms of, of, of uh, presenters? Yes. Um, if you, if you, I can lead the conversation for you. There's a couple of people who I believe oh. should not be on radio. You have no business being on. Listen, it's okay. You can explore something else, but this is not your platform. You mm. even know it yourself yeah. deep down. All right. Deep down, you know, you know for a fact this is not for you. And it's okay. Mm. Maybe there's something else behind the yeah. scenes that yeah. you're good at. Yeah. That you can try your hand in production, writing adverts. Uh -huh. You know, there's so many facets yeah. to radio, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Who should not be on radio clearance? Man. Uh. <laughs> You're bad. <laughs> you shouldn't be on radio, man. <laughs> I should. I should be on you international be on shows. <laughs> international shows, please. No, look, look, look man. Look, with all due respect, um, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm the kind of person who, who, who would tell someone. I think that there's just misplacements. Mm -hmm. My colleague, Lorica Williams. Mm should not be doing the kind of show she's doing. Uh -huh. She's doing a youth show. Yes. And Laurie, yes. we're all yes. love. She's, she's, she's doing soccer moves, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. She has so much potential mm. to do a different kind of slot. Mm. You understand? That's just my personal mm. opinion. That yeah. woman is talented. Yeah. She's talented. Mm. And that slot is stripping her. Oh, okay. You understand what I I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let the, let, let, let's, you know, it's, 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 it's just like, like myself. Mm. You can never put me on a on, a, on an entertainment show today. Mm. No, <laughs> that's, that's the, no. That's the, you know, just let your jazz. No, <laughs> jazz, no gems. Yeah. Old school hip hop. That's your thing. Okay. <laughs> what would I talk about? Yeah. Cars and stuff. No. Yeah. You understand? So, mm. so, so, if I'm mean, put me on a talk show now, mm. that's where I am. Yes. Give me the news to read. So, therefore, I would say, you know, with all due respect and love to you, my to girl, Lori. Push to do a different stuff. Yeah, yeah. Powers that be, yeah. please listen. One last bonus question. My producer's looking at me like, hey, Omes, your <laughs> time. One last question. CJ. Yeah. Your dream combination of personalities on one show. Let's say a breakfast show. Your dream. Who would you really love to say, man, station managers, please look at this combination of radio presenters on one show? NSK, you are loud, but good loud. <laughs> they <laughs> A mixture, you know, I, and I'm not saying this because I'm with you. Mm, mm. If I could love to see you, Mario Locke mm. and Lorica Williams <laughs> on a breakfast show, <laughs> wherever it is, it can be NBC, Fresh, yeah, wherever, wherever what your what radio platform. station, that's what I'd like to see. So myself, yeah, our veteran Mario Locke Mario and Locke also Lorica. And Lorica, you guys will kill. My you goodness. kill it. You'll murder it. You yeah. know, I love your persona. Yeah, yeah. You, you're this guy. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mario and, and I will fight all the time on air. <laughs> and let me produce it. And then you produce it. <laughs> <on this bed. laughs> CJ, thank you so much, man. We really appreciate you. Yeah. We appreciate uh, uh, the fact that uh, you have opened these doors for us yeah. to keep pushing. And thank you so much for engaging us on this conversation. Yeah. Um, radio business need to brand themselves. Yeah. And we need to get in those spaces. And we need to take charge. Yeah. Because we are the real influencers. That's what it is. That's a belief. Thank you, bro. All right. Sure. You know what? Let's leave it at that. Next week, Friday, we're going to continue with this conversation. And then we're going to have so much more fun. We will have personalities. And obviously, we're going to be dramatic as usual. Until the next one, we say GMTM. <laughs> Ni ma jomba la, ni ma kuku 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 kuku.